everybody, welcome to In the Red Zone. I'm Mike, this is Sean, and today we're going to be doing our picks, our college football predictions for week three coming up. It's been an interesting two weeks to say the least, so uh, let's just get right into our picks for week, week three. First game we're going to pick, uh, Kansas at Ohio. I've got Ohio in that one. Um, I thought Kansas would be better than they've shown in the, the first two weeks, um, and they've, they've struggled going one and one, so this is at Ohio, um, and surprisingly, I've got Ohio. Ohio won this game last week, or last, last year in Kansas. Um, I hope the players don't let that go to their heads because Kansas has been moving the ball you know, they should be 2-0. and The only reason they're not, you know, they had over 500 yards, they had about 500 yards of total offense last week in their game, and the only reason they lost is they had three, they had turnovers, three interceptions. Um, so they throw the ball all over the field, they move the ball. Um, this one could be a trap game. I, it could be a toss-up. Kansas is better than last year. I'm going to go with the Bobcats just because that's where I went to school, and I'm going to go with the home, it's, it's a homer pick because I yeah. think it could go either way, but if Kansas wins, I won't be surprised. Yeah. Uh, the second game we're Cincinnati at Miami of Ohio. I've got Cincinnati in that one. They they hung and I, like we talked about in our last video, um, they they had some players on the the defensive front that I thought were really good and I I just I think they'll be too much for Miami. I think uh, I'm going to take Cincinnati again. This is a, this is a homer pick because I'm not sure about this. I know the ESPN app has Miami as probably a statistical favorite favorite in this. It is being played at Miami. Um, but Cincinnati showed me a lot against Michigan. They showed me they're a lot better. I, I knew going into the season they were going to be better than what the experts were giving yeah. them credit for. But and, that, and they they're going to be it mad after a loss after they playing are. pretty well. Yeah. Um, they're they're going to be pretty upset after the loss to Michigan. I yeah. think. So I'll take. We're both going to take Cincinnati on that one. Uh, next pick. We're going to uh, Kentucky at South Carolina. Sean, both teams yeah. in the SEC, both teams 2-0. Yeah. Uh, probably surprising at this point in the season that these two teams will start out 2-0. and Who do you have here? Yeah, um, I've got South Carolina. Um, I just think with what they've done in the first two weeks, I've got them. Um, it's being played in Columbia, South Carolina, so I've got the home team with that one. I'm going to go with uh, South Carolina as well, um, mainly because – South Carolina has played some great competition the first yeah. two weeks. NC State and uh, Missouri, I believe, were the yeah. two teams they've well, beaten. And Kentucky has lost their um, number one receiving threat in Jeff Bidette to Oklahoma. So yeah. um, they may be yeah. breaking in some, some wide receivers trying to find out who's going to take over that spot. Yep. Okay. Let's start uh, getting into the top 25. UCLA at Memphis. I've got UCLA in this one. For them to come back against Texas A&M like they did, that's a huge confidence booster for Josh Rosen. Mm -hmm. um, so I've just I've got UCLA. I think they're going to be too much at Memphis. Josh Rosen just they say the legend of Rosen since the comeback against A&M. Yeah. He has uh, Rosen. He, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to take UCLA as well just because it's against Memphis. The only thing is I would I'm caution about that is when West Coast teams have to travel like that. Yeah. You know, sometimes there's a little bit of a jet lag and can, can affect you. Yeah. But I don't think that it's going to be a problem with Memphis, so take UCLA in that one. Tennessee at Florida. This is 23 versus 24. This was a tough one. This is like that um, Virginia Tech, uh, West Virginia pick. Um, it was really tough to pick that one. Um, I think I ended up just going with the Big 12 team on that one. But these are both SEC schools. It's at Florida. Um, but Florida's just kind of been a little bit of a wreck uh, to begin with, um, with them having to suspend players, and then you know they're they're distracted probably with the hurricane coming in. Uh, we'll see if this game is still played because it's played in Gainesville. Mm -hmm. um, I almost in this situation where it's kind of a pick 'em game, I almost don't like picking the away team, but I think I'm going to go with Tennessee here. Um, Butch Jones know that knows that his next loss could be his last. So mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and pick Tennessee. Tennessee, I think, has been living on some Lady Luck. Yeah. I think they've been Lady Luck's been singing Rocky Top the yeah. last couple of weeks. Um, it, I picked Florida to win the SEC East. Um, if they do play this game, I know there are players that's going to be affected and their minds aren't going to be on the game. But I just ultimately think um, if they play down there, you know, the, their game this past week was canceled because of uh, the hurricane. Uh, that could be another them, factor. Could be another factor, but I think ultimately these guys are going to be ready to get back on the field and kind of forget some of the other things going on. So yeah. I'm going to take Florida. I mean, I have them win the SEC East. They're not going to do that if they can't beat Tennessee. So right. I got to go with Florida in this one. Um, Illinois at USF. Yeah, I've got uh, USF in that one. 
I'll take Char USF. Charlie Strong kind of, he's off to a good start there. Until Illinois can show me that they belong in the Big Ten, I can't pick them. Now, I said the same thing a few weeks ago about Purdue. Yeah. But um, but I have to go with South Florida in this in this game. Oregon State at Washington State. We've got Washington State. Um, huge confidence booster and a, a three-overtime win against Boise State. Um, and Oregon State just hasn't shown me really anything. So I've got uh, I've got the uh, fighting Mike Leeches over the, the Beavers there. Yeah, Washington State really is a leech. They just latch on and aren't going <laughs> to let go, right? I mean, i got to take Washington State. So, yeah. uh, oh, let's see. Where are we at here? Um, SMU at TCU. I got TCU. I got the Big 12 pick there. They're at TCU. Mm -hmm. um, they played really well against Arkansas. Uh, so I think that um, to them that's a big win. So uh, let's see if they can keep it going and keep the Big 12 elevated just a little bit more, not completely mm -hmm. underwater. So I'm going to have to pick TCU, although I hope there's no letdown after that win. You know, they yeah. got the crosstown rival with SMU. SMU just comes out of nowhere and can Always beat teams. Somebody. You know, they beat Houston last year yeah. when nobody expected it. So um, I, it wouldn't surprise me if the game's close, but obviously, you know, just going with what we know, I have to take TCU in that one yeah. for right now. Um, Stanford at San Diego State should be an easy one. Yeah, I've got Stanford in that one. Yeah, Redemption game from losing to USC. They're going to be mad, and they're going to. Yeah. I kind of feel sorry for San Diego State. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas State at Vanderbilt. We talked about a little bit about this one in our uh, yeah. week two recap. Um, Kansas State is averaging 55 points a game um, without uh, factoring in Oklahoma State's, um, you know, what, 60-something mm -hmm. point. I don't, I don't remember what they scored the first game, but um, without Oklahoma State, Kansas State would be uh, number one in, in points per game in the Big 12. Um, this looks like it might be another Bill Snyder-type team that mm -hmm. um, Jesse Ertz, we've said, is a good quarterback. Um, I know it's that Vanderbilt. SEC defense, uh, so I've got Kansas State in this one. This one's uh, Vanderbilt's been rolling. They've been looking really good on offense. Um, they're obviously not going to contend for the SEC, but they're a lot better. Um, this one's probably going to be close, and I even told you I probably don't know who I would pick until I'm standing up here right now. I'm going to go with Kansas State. No. I like Bill Snyder. I like I like them. I, I just I hope they get it done. But it's going to be one of those where if Vanderbilt wins, I won't be surprised. Yeah. Um, so Miami at Florida State, that game has been postponed um, and moved to October 14th because of the hurricane. So our next pick, Virginia Tech at East Carolina. I got Virginia Tech in that one. Vir Them dispatching West Virginia like they did. Um, they've got a really good defense, and then their offense was rolling. So I'm going to take them I'll over take ECU. I'll take Virginia Tech as well. Yeah. Um, they did look pretty good against West Virginia. They, were, they really did prove something there. Yeah. Um, Mercer at Auburn. I got Auburn in that one. Yeah. They're, they're going to be, again, uh, feel sorry for Mercer because Auburn's going to come out and they're going to want to show the world that, yeah. you know, they're still good even though they've got one loss there. So, yeah, um, I, that's that's just a Sanford no at Georgia. I got Georgia in that one. Georgia here, too. I mean, some, some of these are no-brainer picks. LSU yep. at Mississippi State. Got LSU in that one. Even though it's at Mississippi State, I just think LSU is a more complete, better team. I would have to agree. LSU as well. Uh, Wisconsin at BYU. I've got Wisconsin. BYU, I, you know, I had them as my first upset game um, in week one, mm -hmm. and they just – they they had, against LSU. Yeah, so. they haven't been doing anything to me really that, that shows me anything. Tanner Mangum, I think, is an incredible uh, mm -hmm. quarterback, um, and I think they came back – against Utah. Did they end up winning that game against Utah? No, Utah won. Okay. Well, still, they had a they had a chance to win it um, mm -hmm. there at the end, or at least try, and uh, they, they played pretty well, but I just I don't think they know how to win right now. Yeah, I, I, if BYU had any sense of an offense at all, I, I, would, I might give them a chance in this because Wisconsin has struggled early in their first two games. Uh, even against Florida Atlantic, but BYU is just, uh, it's just an off year for BYU, so I'm going to have to go with Wisconsin. Oklahoma State, Pitt, what do you have? Yeah, I've got Oklahoma State winning that one. Um, I just think Oklahoma State's the better team. Their their offense is just crazy. Pitt, not near what they were last year. Um, I, the game could be closer than what Oklahoma State has had so far because Oklahoma State hasn't played anybody. Yeah. Um, but I think ultimately Oklahoma State's just too much offensively. Um, 
Army at Ohio State. Got Ohio be, State in that Ohio one. Ohio State should be pretty simple. Army's going to run the ball all game long. And if we saw something really good from Ohio State is their, their ability to stop the run. So um, I would not be scared that's, of Army whatsoever. That's the only thing that Ohio State has is a run defense yeah. other than that. So um, let's go on to uh, Air Force at Michigan. Got Michigan in that one. I'm going to take Michigan as well, although you always have to be careful of those uh, military academies because yeah. they can ju jump up and bite you. Yeah, it's so, at Michigan. Yeah. Air Force is, is not the, the premier uh, program out of the military academies, so Michigan's a pretty easy pick there. Fresno State, Washington. Yeah, I got Washington in that one. I'll take Washington as well. I think it'll be pretty easy for Alabama them. just beat Fresno State pretty yeah. bad, and so. Yeah. Uh, Georgia State at Penn State. Penn State, that one. I'll take Penn State as well. Texas at USC. I've got USC. They they just looked more complete. Um, this is not this is not a hater pick, so don't think that it is. Um, I've actually been really a lot kinder to uh, Texas as a lot of the OU fan base has been. So um, I've got USC in this, but look for a fight from Texas. I think Tom Herman's at some point. I kind of predicted that at some point in the season, maybe too early, but I think at some point. Texas is going to start figuring some things out. Um, they played their other quarterback this last game, and they got a win. Um, so look for maybe a close game, but Sam Darnold, you know, he's kind of emerging too. So I think this is an easy game for, for I'm, USC. I'm taking USC. I don't think Texas is ready to, yeah. to compete with a team like this. Maybe it's, they'll have it ready for Oklahoma, but not Yeah, it's at, Well, <laughs> anything happens in that Red River yeah. game. I mean, anything happens. Clemson at Louisville, this is the big game, probably the marquee game of the week since Florida State-Miami has been canceled. I've got Clemson. They, they're just a more complete team, I think. Um, Lamar Jackson, uh, this is going to be a huge test for him. Um, and Brent Venables is a heck of a D coordinator. Uh, he's going to have those boys ready to play. Uh, you know, I would like to think that Louisville is going to get some revenge, but I'm not picking against Clemson two yeah. weeks in a row, so I'm going to go with Clemson. I just think that defense is too good. Yeah. Uh, Tulane at Oklahoma should be got Oklahoma simple. in this one. Yeah, this one should be such a blowout that the game's not even on regular TV; it's on pay-per-view. Yeah. So I mean, although Tulane was one of those Group of Five schools a couple years ago that, um, you know, they it took a long time for them to lose a game. Uh, there was a while there with where Conference USA or the American Conference. Mm -hmm. um, there were several schools in that conference that um, were undefeated for a long time. Temple um, was one of the smaller schools mm -hmm. that was. Uh, undefeated going late into the season um, so I'm not quite sure I don't know a ton about Tulane but it should be one of those games that Oklahoma takes care of pretty well pretty simple they're riding a good a big win over yeah. Ohio State so we we'll just hope that none of that goes to their heads and they don't, don't relax for this game I don't think well I think yeah. they put 60 plus up on Tulane last game Colorado at number Colorado State at number one Alabama um, this is actually Colorado State's fourth game of the season, which is crazy to think about. They played in that week zero. Um, I've got Alabama winning this one pretty easy. Colorado State just isn't isn't very good. Yeah, another little warm up scrimmage for yeah. Alabama. So I'll take Alabama as well. Yeah, that's our pick for the top or for the top twenty five games for week three. Um, last thing, uh, any upset alert? I'm going to take uh, SMU at TCU. My upset alert game is going to be Kansas State at Vanderbilt, just because I think that game could go either way. Both have great offenses. Um, both, well, Kansas Kansas State's had a pretty good defense so far, but they haven't really played anybody. Yeah. I just think that <clears throat> both teams 2-0, and it's early in the season. That game could go either way for either team. Yeah. So, What's your lock? Uh, lock would af absolutely have to be um, Army at Ohio State. Yeah. I mean, or Tulane at Oklahoma. I just don't think... Ohio Either State's going to be mad. They're going to yeah. they're they're going to come out with their ears pinned back, and they're going to want to hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. um, my lock, I'm going to take Wisconsin at BYU. I just I just yeah. I don't believe in BYU. I just don't think they're yeah. they're that that good. They just don't look like a team that knows how to win right now. So. so that's been our picks for week three. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, this is Sean. I'm Mike. You've been in the red zone.